So, hey, I'm noticing this all over Los Angeles. Um, companies apparently buy multiple cars, paint them yellow, and then uh, they park them in different areas for advertisement. Apparently, it makes sense. I see a lot for car title loans and then uh, handyman. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, G for T. Want to do a really quick vlog for you guys just on real estate because that's what we've been talking about the last couple days. Had a conversation with a gal. Um, she was going into her doctor's office. Just talked about being dirt broke, poor, but yet she's sitting on $500,000 worth of equity in her home. And um, blood, sweat, and tears. Moved out to Chatsworth when she was young, married with children. Husband left her. The two children are worthless. And she just talked about, you know, she can't pull the money out of her home. She's basically barely surviving, but yet she's sitting on this fortune. So she's looking at a reverse mortgage, but they totally screw you out of most of your equity. And she's just like, it's just perplexed. And I go, maybe you could take in some uh, renters. She goes, I've tried that. It's just, I don't have the, I'm elderly. I can't deal with it. And it's like, what's your ties to the community? She goes, none. And, and, and here it is. It's the perfect example of what I talk about with rent. People buy into this American dream and they invest their time, their life, their blood, sweat, and tears. And then sometimes they just end up with, with nothing virtually except the house. And it's like, take the money and move to Idaho or something. It's just like, it just, people get in the state of mind where the house and their bodies become one being and they work and they slave and they get set into this thing of just putting together this nest and then the family breaks apart and people are ungrateful and I'm not saying that she shouldn't have done that she shouldn't have lived her life that way but isn't it isn't it strange that we, we put so much effort and work into providing a stable situation and sometimes it, it actually means nothing. It's just meaningless. Um, I think about that. I think about that. I think about people in their daily routines going through the uh, motion, so to speak. And then at the end of their lives, how much of it is um, truly a waste? How much of it was actually pointless when it came down to it or how much of it was deeply meaningful and worth it you never quite know that's the interesting thing 50% divorce rate 60% divorce rate how many men and women base everything on on the fact that you're being going to be married forever and if you just look at the statistics it just doesn't happen Life is fluid, life is fractured, life is constantly changing. The best thing I think you can do to prepare for the future is to prepare for change. Peace out, God bless, take care.